I'm getting some snow out here. What do you think of the snow, Echo? What do you think of the snow? It's still pretty cold out, but man, this whole area here was covered in snow all night last night. I opened up the door to the trailer. There's our camp right over there. And uh, like in the middle of the night, I looked outside and it was blanketed white. I mean, it was, it was thick too. It seemed like it was about two inches. But I realized one of the things that I I really like about this kind of weather is you get to get this gear out that usually don't you don't use like the face mask and uh, you know my jacket I got some basic gloves on and check this out I even got my like these are like ski board or snowboard pants and then I got these uh you know like rain boots what are these called sorrel boots So it's a good time to get this stuff out from inside of the trailer and use it. Make sure everything's working good. Once you're wearing the right gear, even though it's cold out here like this and it's a little little wet, you know, I'm pretty comfortable. My toes are frozen right now is the only thing that kind of sucks. Uh, so that means either I got a leak in my boots or I need some uh, some better boots. These ones are pretty insulated. See, they got this thick padding here. So they're pretty well insulated. I think I got a little leak. They're getting a little old. See how there's like a crack right there? Oh yeah, that's pretty big actually. So that could just be letting water in. Oh yeah, this cracked all the way along there. Well, time for some new rain boots, I think. But everything else, you know, I just got these like basic, these are like the dollar store. They're like, these are like $1 for these basic gloves. And you know, they keep my hands warm, but they do get wet and then they don't work at all. So they're really not the best, but I kind of like just carrying these around because then I, you know, I don't have to worry if I lose them or whatever. Oh. It's quiet here, you know, especially since it's snowed so much last night. There's not too many people on this road. I've only seen two trucks drive by today. And the dogs were running around this morning in the snow. Dodger really likes it. He really likes the snow. He's like in his element. He's got like that double coat. His fur is like super thick, so the cold doesn't bother him at all. Mr. Echo, on the other hand, come here, Echo. Echo, come here. He's got pretty short, short fur, so he gets cold pretty quick. He really likes to be in the, in the trailer, 
So like when we get done on this hike, he's gonna be super excited to go right back inside and get warm again. Cause we got the heater going in there. It's just the heater that comes inside the trailer and those things work really good. It runs on propane and it uses electricity. So that's the main problem I'm having out here is uh, I'm not able to get any electricity because there's not much sun, at least for the last couple days. And running that heater basically all day, all night, it uses the electricity from the batteries. So I got the generator running since this morning just because then that'll power the basically the fan on the heater and it'll be charging up the batteries too at the same time. Once these clouds lift, even if it's cold outside, you know, we'll be getting solar power and that's enough to run everything basically day in and day out as long as you get constant sun. I saw a coyote this morning when I opened the door around seven in the morning and it was running out through this field right where we are. So I think that's what Echo's smelling right now. We're headed to Quartzite. That's where we're gonna end up in, uh, hopefully within a few weeks here. It's getting cold, so that's why I'm leaving the Northwest. That's really the only reason. And I know that's a common reason. You know, the dogs and I, we've been living on the road full time for over three years now. And I'm just sort of starting to realize, well, what a snowbird is and that we are snowbirds. So it gets cold and then we scram. I think I usually stay around in the Northwest a little bit longer than most of the typical like snowbirds. Cause like the snow is in the cold weather, it's gonna be below uh, 30 degrees tonight. It's gonna be like in the low twenties. The cold weather is pushing us out and I, I'm not seeing as many RVers and van life people now at this point. So we're kind of at the tail end of the season or past the tail end of the season, basically. And, uh, you know, when I get into Quartzite, there's a pass you get that lasts seven months. It's 180 bucks. And you get, you get a permit that lets you camp there for seven months. And that gives you, um, usually there's like a, there's a dump so you can get rid of your trash and then water service. So you get all the water you need. And also you can dump your sewer there for that price. But the pass lasts for seven months and it's over in April 15th. And most people are gone. I realized this, this year, about a month before that, everybody is gone. So like March, sometime in March, most people are totally gone and it starts to get super deserted out there because it gets hot gets really hot. So the dogs and I this time, we made it almost to April 15th, but it was starting to get to like uh, 97 in the heat of the day. So that's when we decided to leave. But we kind of do that. We kind of stay at uh, kind of the off times, like if we can, you know, if it's not super, super populated, that's when we like it the best. Like if we ever stayed at state parks, the best time to do it is when we did it, which was mostly off season, like winter, fall and winter. There's nobody there at the state parks and the prices drop and you can get the best sites and there's like nobody there. So the park is yours. And with the dogs, it's pretty awesome. Of course they have to be on the leash, you know, the whole time, but we can hike around wherever we want and there's, we won't see anybody at a state. And that's a state park. And you know, for anybody out there who's like wanting to do like nomad life, you know, if you've been thinking about becoming a nomad or just trying it out just temporarily, maybe for a few weeks or a month or something like that. A good way to do that is go to the state parks because they're super safe. You know, there's like a ranger there, there's a camp host there and you got all the services that you need. You get plugins and all that stuff. So if you get a vehicle, especially if you get like a van or whatever, 
then I say your first your first trips should be uh, at a state park because you're not gonna even need a shower or a bathroom. It's all right there. And you know, you're gonna be paying less than you would at like a hotel or Airbnb or something like that. It's gonna be like 30, about 30 to 40 bucks a night usually at the state parks. If you go in the off season, you get campsites for 20, 25 bucks. So this is like kind of what I consider more advanced, you know, for, for this kind of lifestyle because it's a little sketchy. We're up in the mountains and the snow is coming. It's getting cold. It's getting wet and it's freezing at night. So tonight it's going to be, I think everything's going to freeze any kind of water I have that's out and in the tanks in the trailer is the thing that you really got to worry about. So as far as like camping in the mountains, when it's snowy, it's, uh, you know, we're only doing this kind of camping about three years in now where I feel comfortable enough to kind of know the, the weather reports and know what kind of road conditions we need and that kind of thing. But if you're starting out, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be out here. That's for sure. Cause you got to know your equipment how to get in and out, and uh, you don't want to get stuck out here. So as a matter of fact, we're going to leave here uh, either tomorrow or the next day. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow and the next day, so the snow will all be gone. At least that's my, my hope. And uh, we'll have clear skies for hitting the road towards uh, Arizona. Yeah, this is a this is an animal trail right here. Echo, catch. Dodger, catch. Echo, hey, <laughs> Echo, catch. Hey, <laughs> Jeez. he's trying to get it out of my hand. Echo. Catch. Echo. Catch. Got a little change of plans today. I woke up this morning and there was a pretty big snow flurry. It's not too bad right now, actually. It's just kind of lightly coming down, but it was really picking up and it was starting to stick. And as far as I know, the weather report said there wasn't going to be any precipitation today. So I was kind of counting on that. But you know, I'm not getting that good of a cell signal up here. So I'm not able to really get that good of a grasp on what the weather's doing up here. So what I did here kind of the last minute this morning is I decided I'm gonna pack everything up. So I got the trailer hooked back up here. 
You can see I still got some snow on the truck and on top of the trailer here. And I can hear the freeway is open. I can hear the cars moving down there. So the dogs were kind of freaked out because I was getting in a hurry, getting everything all set up to go, which isn't my usual plan. Usually I kind of have a little bit of time to get ready in the morning, but the snow was coming down so fast. I was like, I need to get out of here just in case. I don't want to get snowed in. That, that would be the worst. And since the roads are clear, you know, the dirt road, it was starting to stick earlier this morning, but now it's, it's fine right now. So it's a good time to leave. So I did uh, have a few minutes and I made myself coffee. So this is my breakfast, you know, just coffee and a banana. So what I'm doing kind of last minute, you know, getting out of here at the last minute, I just kind of think, well, where can I go that's going to be safer than this right now? And so for me right now, there's a Walmart. I think it's about 20 miles away and it's down the mountain. So I know that'll be a good place to just reassess the situation and figure out where I'm going to go. I'm going to be heading into Idaho and I'll be able to check the weather report when I'm in the Walmart parking lot because I'll get a better cell signal there. And then I can decide how far into Idaho I want to go if that's where I decide to go based on the weather, basically. And if I can find a good place to camp tonight. So you're just kind of doing these things sort of spur of the moment sometimes, you know. Like I was saying, I'm on the tail end of this uh, camping season up here. In fact, it closes up here in a few weeks. But it's a good time for me to continue on. Eventually, I'll be in Quartzite. You can see up there. I mean, I mean, those trees are covered in snow. It's coming this way. And the dogs are a little excited. Look at Echo. He's shaking. He's like shivering. It is cold, but it's not really that. It's not really that cold. It's not even freezing out right now. But you see, he's shaking because we're kind of not sticking to the normal plan. See him shivering there? He just gets a little nervous. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. But I got a chance to give them both breakfast. So they're well fed. I, I'm not. I need, I need breakfast. So off to Walmart where I'm going to feed myself. It's funny because I really want to stay out here. It's so beautiful and it's so quiet right now because there's hardly any people out here. There's one person left right there, but that's pretty much it out here. But I can tell the some of the branches just driving out of this road here, they're kind of hanging over a little bit more. And so I'm kind of having to maneuver around them with the trailer because they're getting heavy just because there's a little bit of snow on them. And this isn't much, but it's going to get heavy here any any time and I just don't feel comfortable not having a good enough cell signal to where I can check the weather regularly just to see what's going on and what to prepare for